It's wonderful to come together again with all our friends and colleagues from around the world in person in Boston for our 150th birthday. Lots of people from the GDST being part of this global coalition points to a future that looks incredibly optimistic for girls' education. It is so exciting to be in an atmosphere where everyone is working towards the same mission to ensure that girls' voices are loud and heard. It means a great deal to us because we are a small school in a small town. For the girls of Shrewsbury High to know that they're represented in Boston, Massachusetts on a global stage is just incredibly exciting. It's so important for the GDST to be at a conference like this. We wanted to be able to come here and share, but most importantly, we wanted to learn. Even though we all come from our own context, we actually have so much more in common than the differences between us, and that is really exciting. We've got people from Afghanistan and Liberia, the United States and the UK, and there's still so much in common, but we are a community, and there is so much we have to talk about and so much we still have to do. It's really important that the GDST, its heads and its students are part of a global conversation to make sure that girls and women are continually put at the centre of innovation because we've seen recently that things can turn backwards very quickly if we become complacent. I really want to call out the GDST for your leadership in the Global Action Research Collaborative on Girls' Education. As I see our teacher research fellows presenting such quality action research projects so that we can all benefit from what they learned in the classroom, it's really been extraordinary and we couldn't have done it without the GDST. To be selected as a GARP Fellow has been an incredible opportunity. The research project is using experiential learning to actually engage critically and empathetically with the world around us. It's building that culture of awareness to develop our students as global citizens. To be selected as a GARP Fellow was a huge privilege. I could develop my own skills and research, but also it allowed me to make connections across the globe. The opportunity to connect globally, it's important for the girls, but it's also important for us as heads to meet and discuss the really important issues. And it's important that we, as a group of schools, ensure that we're absolutely clear on the relevance of all girls' education in a modern world. My standout moment so far has been listening to Shabana, who established the School of Leadership in Afghanistan. She talked about how education is a tool of freedom and that a peace can come about if we prioritise girls' education. We need more women around the table of decision making and problem solving. The women who will be the problem solvers are going to come from girls' schools. So what you're doing at GDST to create change makers and bridge builders, they're our future and they're going to be absolutely necessary for us to bring our full human potential to solving these really big world problems.